Okay, first, how am I gonna hold up three things? Yep, it appears that this month I was way too lazy to go to the grocery store. Okay, that's totally not true. I found a few things that I loved at local grocery stores and I decided to see if I could get them cheaper on Amazon. And then there was other stuff I bought too. So let's go over what I bought this month on Amazon. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. On this channel, we talk all things money. And every month I go over in detail what I have spent online. And it's 99% of the time Amazon. And this month is no different. Everything I've spent online, I think up to this point has been Amazon. Yeah, let's just jump right into what I bought this month. The first thing that I bought this month is these adorable butterfly patches. And why would I buy butterfly patches, you ask? Because I have a six-year-old and knees, ripped pants, it happens. But see, Melina doesn't like rip out the entire knee of her jeans. She rips this little teeny tiny hole usually from getting it hung on some playground equipment or something and it just tears a little hole. So I bought these little tiny butterfly patches and they're iron on and so I am covering up the holes on her leggings actually because it seems to happen the most with her leggings. I, I cover up the little tiny holes with this patch and it has worked fantastically. Why? Because I am too cheap to buy her new leggings. Plus these leggings are hard to replace. They're really unique colors and they're so cute and I just love them. And so this is what I've opted to do rather than buying new, I'm gonna fix them because she's gonna grow out of them in like three days anyway. The next thing I bought was Trader Joe's Crunchy Broccoli and Crunchy Okra. I know, it sounds weird. I went to Trader Joe's a couple of weeks ago and I found this broccoli and I loved it. And I went online just to see what the price is. And I will tell you that this is actually more expensive. I will not be buying it online again, but they had okra. And I am a huge fan of okra. I love okra. In fact, one of my very, very favorite foods, you're gonna think I'm so weird, is pickled okra and it's okra and it's crunchy and oh, I just love it mouth-watering because I want pickled okra. I know, I'm weird. So oh, I had decided to go ahead and just buy the broccoli okra combination. I doubt I will buy it again. My Trader Joe's did not have okra, so I doubt I can find it there, but if I love it, I only bought one bag, so if I love it, I will be able to buy more online because they did sell it in multi-packs and I'm sure I'll probably love it, but we'll wait and see. But this stuff is actually really, really good and I think it'll be fantastic on salads. I ate it as just a snack and I loved it. The next thing we will be talking about is the mochi treats. Now, see, look, I have them here. I had no idea what they were. I legitimately had no idea, but I love mochi. So I was like, how bad can it be? And oh my gosh, this might be the best junk food I have ever had in my life. Good for you, probably not. But it's just these little rice things that have been cooked and they taste like they've probably been fried. They are delicious. And even Mauricio loves them. They're crispy and crunchy and salty and oh, they're so good. But yeah, I'm probably never gonna be able to buy these again because I'm noticing that I can eat a whole like half bag in one sitting and they're not good for you. These may be going to work with Mauricio since he does like them to stop me from eating them. I may need some self-control. The next thing I got was this 50 pack of Nori sheets from Amazon. And I know you're asking, why would you buy Nori online when you can buy it at every single grocery store? Because I hate fishy Nori and this one is supposed to be not fishy. And from at the grocery store, they have numerous different kinds and I don't know what's fishy and what's not. And I hate to waste my money on fishy Nori because I'll just throw it away because I'm the only one who will eat it. Also got some of this purple rice. Also a lot of people call it black rice or maybe purple rice and black rice are different. I haven't quite figured out the difference between purple and black rice, but this is what I got and I got it because I 
now, nowhere to buy it anywhere else. So maybe Whole Foods, but there it'd be redonkulously expensive. So I went ahead and got a pound of that online and then I'm going to make purple rice and cucumber sushi and it is going to be delicious. So that is why I bought those things. If I can find them locally in the future, I will go ahead and buy them locally, but I have never seen purple rice in my grocery store ever. The next thing I bought was two bottles of Loctite super glue. And what do I buy these online? Cause there is one specific type of super glue that I like better than any other. And I don't like to buy any of the other ones. So this is by far the best super glue I have ever used. I don't normally get my fingers sticky with other super glue. I always end up gluing my fingers together and then I'm like, uh, uh, I can't get my fingers apart. You know, you've been there, you know. But this I have never had a problem with and I really, really, really like it. So I go ahead and order it in packs of two and that is the best buy on Amazon and that's what I buy. And the next thing I bought was actually for Mauricio and I knew it was something he wanted and we had a little bit of extra cash. And so I went ahead and got it for him and I'm gonna have to read what it is cause I don't remember what it's called. It is called the Kutex Vertical Stand for PlayStation 4 Slim. What? His PlayStation was flat and this stands it up. It gives it more air. It's supposed to be better, I don't know. But Mauricio has been talking about it since he got his PlayStation and had yet to get it. And we had a little bit of extra money and I just felt like being a nice wife because I like buying presents. And then the last two things were headbands. Melina has started wanting to wear her hair down all the time. I like wearing it up because I hate the concept of lice and I want to keep her hair up and free from lice. And I told her she could wear her hair down until it started warming up and then she was gonna have to start wearing it in ponytails again. She wanted to wear it with headbands and the only headbands she had were super, super fancy or princess crowns. And so I bought her two packs of headbands so she would have a multitude of colors and she has been wearing them every day since we got them and she looks so cute. I'm trying to teach her that when you put a headband on, you have to pull it up over the top of your head, but she just likes to pop it down in the middle, but whatever. She's six, it's cute. She looks cute no matter how. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below and you can click on that and check out everything I bought. And I actually, after I've used it, I will write reviews of everything that I like. And if for some reason it disappears off the page, it's because I didn't like it. I will not recommend something I didn't like. So relatively speaking, it has been a good month online. I bought things I need. I bought a couple of things that I shouldn't have, but you know, this is real life. And that is one thing I do on my channel. And while I don't discuss every single thing I purchase, I do discuss the vast majority of what I purchase. And I love to share when I find something that I love. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.